Welcome back to the remake playthrough. We're in part 10 and it's the finale of the Chris scenario. Will we finally get the panda? I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. Then Brian Nines comes out of nowhere. Mr. Redfield, we need to have a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a real police dude. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Down the stairs we go. <laughs> the stuttering again. Yeah, uh, the way I'm doing that is like using the tank controls with the D-pad and tapping the run button. It does save a few frames, so it does get you down quite a bunch of the stairs faster. Some some uh, stair some sets of stairs though, uh, you often go a bit slower doing that though for some reason. Oh yeah, double checking to make sure everything's gone here. But yeah. Uh, now it's time for the bullshit part. <laughs> yeah, I'll, this was not in the original game and. Probably might have led if Lisa didn't knock you off the ledge earlier. This might have been your first death in the game if you didn't know about it beforehand. Now we need to refuel the empty fuel capsule, and the thing is, it's nitroglycerin oh, and is good. very, very unstable. Uh, I I dread this part every time I play because like, so basically so all it first... takes is one enemy <laughs> that you've accidentally left behind or that alive. So just put the council in there and then read this as you get it back, folks. You got the fuel capsule. The main ingredient is filled with nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Here's the thing: the amount of time you're allowed to run with this before it blows up is dependent on your difficulty level. Very easy gives you the most time, like maybe three, four seconds. Or maybe five seconds, like normal, obviously, like hard, maybe just two. <laughs> and no, don't think you can do this little thing where you can run for like a second and then walk again. No. If you've been pl playing through the game with the alternate controls, do not tilt the analog stick all the way. This this moment, I would say use the D-pad. Because when the alternate controls, when you tilt the stick fully all the way, uh, that's an auto running. run. <laughs> and uh, running is a big no-no here. I'm using D-pad for this, and I'm I, I, I'm taking my hand. I, I always take my hand off the other side of the controller, and I just have the one hand on the D-pad, because I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope. Chris, Chris takes the most appropriate time to think about his life and his panda, right yeah. here. God, imagine if Jill made it out and darted straight for Chris to like, give him a hug or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you do it, oh, other things that there are several other things that will cause an explosion as well. Firing a high powered weapon like the shotgun, I think you can fire the handgun, but I don't ever risk it. No. No, Getting that, hit by enemy attacks, because when they do their hit animation where they like yeah. stagger a bit, that jostles the nitro. So I think those two reasons are why you took all them out. Yeah. <laughs> but once you put the capsule in here, you're fine. Getting grabbed by enemies as well, not just getting hit by them. Right, now you've got the fuel supply for the elevator. Now oh, you need to... That's the most test part of the game, right? <laughs> now, you have where the mode disc was before, you have to, there's another room further along. Yeah, you, you got to, now that the... Power's re be fueled up, you need yeah, to turn the power we can, on. We just need to turn it on. We're just going to run right by all the Chimera on the way there. Have you ever had a playthrough where you went here first thinking, oh, no, but then you realise, oh, you have yeah, to, to get the fuel? <laughs> <laughs> just ignore the Chimera's I folks. don't know if they follow you from room to room. Like, those ones I know for sure don't, but I don't know if the other ones in the different follow you so uh, oh, well, if they follow you they'll, they'll be going through the vent system yeah the vent yeah the camera is spawning in just fuck them we're only here and here one time there's nothing here to pick up Oof. swing and a mess <laughs> and see how easy that is to avoid it's like just run on by it. and it only has a what uh, vertical hitbox as well right. so it's like you run horizontal he has no t chance of hitting you oh boy He's swing and a mess He's a big kiss, Redfield. I have to imagine while we G's voice on those things, he's going, because he is an annoying little insect. Crap, <laughs> <laughs> a prick. <laughs> Again, I'm playing as Chris, whose main color is green, so it's like, imagine if Luigi was Chris. <laughs> Chris, Luigi must be getting some serious fatigue in his old age by RE7 at that okay, point. Okay, <laughs> if, if we're going by color code, then according to Resident Evil Lord, the most purplish character is Os Osman Sadler. Sad or oh, and he's Waluigi. <laughs> yeah. Are <laughs> you saying Chris is Luigi? Can't now can't still thinking about Luigi punching boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca. Yeah, if you fucked up. How did up, you get here? Uh, for the power of teleportation. In a garden. Yeah, if you fucked up and didn't save her earlier, uh, too bad. She well, won't be here. I'm glad you're and you mess out in the best ending. Mm. But because I'm the you're real awful. police, dude, Stay we save her. That's is that what the RPD sir. stands for? No, that's like one of the acronyms I like. <laughs> I like to use for it. Others would be 
<laughs> Royal purple dick. Maybe a real pizza dude. <laughs> but he's not a pizza delivery man. No. Yeah. Oh, that would be his. Yeah, that would be his part-time job. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, like you can have AI companions follow you. But there's only one specific spot in the game where they actually get to fight alongside you. Oh, you're going in this with a shotgun. I thought I you got a shotgun. I thought you would have brought the insurance down here. Just watch, boy. -o. I'll show you how it's done. Wesker. You're my best buddy, so aren't you? Come. We'll be friends forever and ever. <laughs> but of course, you are one of my men. Yeah, Wesker knows that the jack is up. Yeah. Right. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think? <laughs> Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? Uh, but the way they play this off is that... In this the gets retconned in Umbrella Chronicles. Well, no, you. even here, actually, the original, it's just make I've it makes Wesker sound like he's bl blindly loyal to Umbrella, but here, Stars he's saying, I've got my Umbrella. own plans. Here's the thing, Wesker Rather. in... Uh, Wesker oh. has been with Umbrella the whole time since Re like Resident Evil Zero, and years before that. Right. The but this is this is where he makes his own plans. Yeah, and Umbrella gave him orders to uh, blow up the mansion and cover up all the evidence. Killed them with your own yeah. dirty hands, <laughs> you son of a bitch! No. Oh yes, dear, just like this. I bet you when you saw this, this pissed you off. Yeah, no, you since I know she's alive. I don't <laughs> Canonically, no, the first survive. time you played this because you didn't know she was alive. Uh, some interest to you. Yeah, at this point, uh, yeah, Wesker was following Umbrella's orders at this point, but he's, he, he sees the Tyrant as like one of the ultimate B.O.W.s, so he's planning to sell it to H.C.F., was it? Aye, uh, H.C.F. Because they they're, the ri they're a rival company. I, who work against Umbrella essentially, and he joins them in Code Veronica actually. And they have a connection to another bioweapon yeah, in RE7. Yeah, and I, I was like, oh, that's a nice little callback. <laughs> anyway, this is the Tyrant. Yep. One of the ultimate BLWs made by Umbrella. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> I love that slime here. someone out there shouting like, bitch, what? You've become <laughs> no, the original. Chris, stop it. No, the best part about that is that in the original, there was a small was a pause. It's like, Chris, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> now, in Umbrella Chronicles, they retcon this so that Wesker intentionally does this to get himself killed in order for the experimental prototype of the T-Virus, I believe. To work. That Birkin gave him. So that's why when we see him in Code Veronica 5, he's got superpowers. Uh, Birkin was the best friend Wesker ever had. On, you you can't freak. kill me! <laughs> so okay. Ring a ring around the rosy. You have more than enough room to work with here. Do the cancel shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, you see me letting, like, cancelling out the shotgun ejection animation. Let go of the aim button. And then just tilt the stick in a direction. Just ring around the rosy. He'll never. Yeah. Hit every time I come here, I always bring down the magnum. Be careful when he gets close enough to you. He does like two slashes at close range. Be careful though if you're on like caution orange or danger. If he does the two hit slash, he will transition right into an instant kill impale, and you're dead. And it's about as nasty as you think it is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna be okay with a shotgun what for this? What do you all think? Was that smart ass? <laughs> you shut you the fuck up. Remember, folks, this is on hard difficulty. No, it's just that every time I see the tyrant, it's like instantly fought Magnum. the Magnum. Right. Yeah, if here's the thing: if you if you get if you're on track for the bad ending, like if you fucked up and let Becky die, you soulless assholes. <laughs> you that would be your final fight in the game. The oh, thing shoot. is, uh, go you would uh, you go off to Wesker here, and if you had you were on track for the bad ending, the self oh I never knew this. He was holding the file? Huh? Yeah. Discovery of the G-Virus. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you didn't get this in your run? No, I never knew this was here, actually. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you are on, if you were on track for the bad ending, like the self-destruct for the mansion, obviously will not be activated because Becky's deed. And she's the one that gives you gets the idea to set it off. Uh -huh. And uh, you would get the master key from West. Remember how uh, when I first got to the lab, there was a door? William oh, Birkin. Actually, I, Look on Alexia's annoying, Alexia's annoying face when I finally announced my research. Oh. William Birkin. Yeah. So. I joined well, that. That's dead release after Veronica, so obviously yeah. I could. Uh, yeah. I well, fill in a little gaps and all that with yeah. backstory. 
Becky. You all right? Rebecca. How is she still breathing when she's not technically wearing a bulletproof vest? Yeah. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. Uh, wait, uh, what the hell? That's a jacket, Chris. Uh, yeah, she's very clearly wearing a cowgirl outfit. That will not protect a bullet. <laughs> it's just so funny when you see the wrong costume and the dialogue yeah. doesn't reflect that. Like Resident Evil 4, well, if it isn't a bitch in the red dress, Ada wearing a black outfit. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's the last we'll see of Wesker for the time being until Resident Evil Code Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> oh, wait till we get to that. The dialogue for Wesker is so hammy in that game. <laughs> Cheesy and over the top. <laughs> the laughing. <laughs> the Richard Wall. Yeah, Richard Wall was pretty much the DC Douglas of that era. I but he sounded better in 4. Yeah. Now, Veronica's voice direction is all over the place. I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Um, right. no, why so don't we collect some evidence that we can use to show Abella's corruption and all that? What's that line Chris said? The show must go on. <laughs> What's he talking about there? I'll see you on the outside. No, but it's like, if, you, if, there's a, if there's an outbreak, why would you blow up the place instead of, like, let's gather some ev evidence? Maybe, bring it back she's to the police. maybe she's thinking on the idea that if any of it gets out, it'll spread to the same. No. But still, it's like, you need to find some evidence. You can't, because. Wow, how are you going to back up your case and explain what happened? Well, they can't, they can't pretty much. Thing, I suppose, could you imagine? Chris, Chris, Rebecca, and anyone else who survived Barry. this? Barry. Chris, Barry, Rebecca, and Joel, Joel survivors of the mansion against incident. Going against Umbrella Corporation, a publicly trusted corporation with all its resources. Um, plus, the RPD is in their pocket. Right. Yeah, Brian so just, Irons, what, how, how many seconds do you think it would be before Umbrella just said, yeah, they clearly... They've, you know, a mission went bad and they've gone insane as a result. <laughs> the, you know, um, yeah. the stress has broken them. Yeah, the RPD covers that up by like saying in the novel anyway, by like saying the RP the stars were pretty much like drunk, <laughs> I believe. And it's like <laughs> yeah, they went on hell of a bender. I imagine Chris must have been really pissed off with that. It's like now, please don't leave me behind. <laughs> Be very careful here, because there's cut. I didn't. If you go around the other end on the Chimera, lock, yeah, come yours. But at this point, you need to grab your other character from that. You yeah, unlocked. if you're going for the best ending. Yeah, go down here and get them unlocked. Because you can still, you're not in the clear yet, you can still fuck up and <laughs> get the, a, a good ending, but you'll lose one of the characters one if half. you mess it up. Uh, uh, one half ending, as I call it. Isn't that weird, <laughs> actually, have to go all through all this shit that we've done through just to see a different ending? Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, this this door does not unlock until the self-destruct alarm yeah. goes off. Here's the, why it doesn't Jill try the door right then and there? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, she's the, the master, she's the master of unlocking, isn't she? I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Is there an actual timer for the self-destruct thing? Or no, is it just, uh... not yet. No, not until later on. In the original game, when the timer does show up, it was kind of bullshit because the timer runs during the cutscene. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but they give you a bit more leeway with it here. If... And you couldn't skip cutscenes in the original Resident Evil 2. What are you going back in the room for? There's a shotgun shells right there. Oh. Yeah, I had to look this up when I was going for the explore all areas I, trophy. I, I love the touch. I like it that you're seeing it through a security camera. Yeah. Because, right. like, Wesker would probably be watching it there. The stalker. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Getting away, <laughs> I still have your panda! <laughs> You're merely postponing the inevitable. <laughs> hey Jill, look what I can do. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Chris, are you alright? <laughs> Wait, I forgot to ask Wesker where the panda was. Fuck <laughs> my panda! And in the background, Let's get going. how'd she get ahead? Oh yeah, you take the spotlight, even though I'm, I'm the one doing all the fucking work. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't. Do you know, if Samus Aaron was here, this self destruct sequence would be nothing to her. Uh, hey. And if it were Team Ninja right now, they'd just have Redly show up and have her be traumatized again. Ugh. Oh, fucking other Ren. What a mess of a game. <laughs> uh, they had their chance to make Samus into a three dimensional character and they fucked it up. But what didn't make sense is that they act as if this is her first time encountering Redly since her parents' death. Not. When it's yeah. not. It's like she encountered Redly seven times before that and she was absolutely fine. <laughs> No, once you, <coughs> no, once you have activated the self destruct there, you cannot go back to the mansion. So, if you need to do anything beforehand, go back to the mansion and pick up everything you want to get before you head down into the lab. Oh, this Becky. is gonna be tough. You only got six shots left of your magnum. <coughs> It'll be more than enough. 
What? You don't have faith in well, me? I'm, well, because this is on hard difficulty. I know what I'm doing. Right. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <coughs> now, if you Where's were on track for the bad ending and got the master key from Wesker, you would be able to unlock that door right then and there and go straight to the roof. Well, not even bother to find the tyrant. Nope, you skipped the final boss fight entirely, which is a real big help on real survival. So you can intentionally let Becky die for if you want to have an easier time in real survival. But you only have to fight the tyrant once if you're on track for the bad ending. Okay. But if you're going for the best ending, well, we'll see. Where's Re where's Rebecca? <coughs> Becky. Because usually when I play here as Jill, it's both Chris and Barry at the spot. By the way, you need an empty inventory space here. Like, why is the battery on the floor? It's, why can't it just be left on? Had, I think it was to ensure you had a free inventory space. Because they do that in the original too. I bet you the battery is not even on the floor when it's easy <laughs> difficulty. There she always is. There. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Yeah, chicken shit, Brad. <laughs> He's gonna get what's coming I'll to him in Resident Evil 3, though. Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. That's gonna be nasty okay. watching him die in the RE engine. Yeah. If they go, f if they don't censor it. Well, they didn't censor like the NPCs' deaths in like remake too, so I think they'll go all in for Brad. Or for all we know, they might go all in in every aspect of the gore. For that now the countdown begins. So you yeah. have three minutes. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> and the original Resident Evil. Like the cutscene where Chris and Becky are talking there about the self destruct act fade. The, the timer activates in the middle of that. Oh, for fuck's sake. And by the time the Tyrant shows up on the helipad here, you have like 90 seconds to win the game. If you, by the way, uh, run out of time, boom, you're going up in flames with a mansion. No, what if you just decide to ignore the signal flares and just fired your magnum in the air? <laughs> hey, hey, chicken shit. Real police dude here. <laughs> Managed to hit him through the, through the window. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're on track for the bad ending, your game ends right here. But if you're not such a heartless little bastard and save Jell and Chris. Becky, they'll show up here. Yeah. Where's Barry? Where, where's Barry? <laughs> so you would think all four characters would pop up here, but no, Barry's no. nowhere to be seen. They're here in the novel, all four of them. Ow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That always terrifies me because I'm thinking, are they dead when they get hit? Now here's the thing: the tyrant has Why the same. Why shooting at it? The tyrant has the same attacks he did in the lab, but now he runs towards you and he has an, has a new attack where he charges towards you and slashes you like that. That will floor you if it hits you and deal heavy damage. Please don't tell me Jill's dead. No. Well, you can't have Red Bull free without Jill. <laughs> Now here's the thing, uh, after, you have to deal enough damage to the Tyrant to get Brad to drop the rocket launcher. Bring out the insurance. Just like, oh, yeah, I love this. That's it for the Magnum. Yep. Serve me well, old friend. The best insurance Oof. any RPD or real police dude could ask for. Yeah, he takes a fucking beating on hard mode. Oh, ah! <laughs> Just run away. You kind of have to know ahead of time he's going to charge. Oh, of course, you can't have a Resident Evil game without using the rocket launcher. It's a miracle that didn't discharge. <laughs> or fired a rocket by mistake. Yeah, it would have blown me the fuck up. You need, yeah, again, you need an inventory spot. But once you've picked it up, equip it. Get it, get enough space. Ow! Oof. There's the animation that they keep. Oh, how convenient! You ride, right, you lied right next uh, to your hi, Jill. one. <laughs> Caution! If I get hit by that again, it'll put me in danger from the. Time to one hit kill the Tyrant. Let's end this, shall we? Bye bye, asshole. Bitch, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, on uh, the Tyrant can deflect the missile and that. Has to, he's always done it on every hard mode playthrough I've done. Uh, but he, thankfully, he doesn't do it like four times in a row. Otherwise, he'd be fucked because you have to kill him with the rocket in order to win the game. So much for Wesker's ultimate life form. Yeah. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. I love that line earlier. That's only in the remake, though. Unfortunately, yeah. But hey, there we go. We're finally all thanks to Brad and Barry. No shit. I have this. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully. I know the smoke. Just a small dot of black and white fur. <laughs> Even if you're playing as Jill and you get the best ending here, it's always this cutscene for some reason. I believe. And then the next bit is whoever survived, like Rebecca here. Yeah, like in the original game, like Barry would like be examining his magnum, still investigating, even after <laughs> <laughs> doing all that investigating in the mansion. That's nothing you need to expect for Resident Evil, a chopper flying off into the distance. Yeah, and a chopper pilot dying. 
Because <laughs> uh, Brad's going to get owned big time in Resident Evil 3. So there we have Chris's scenario. We're not quite done yet, though. Well, we can give our final thoughts on the Chris scenario. Right. So I would say this is definitely the easy part of the remake. Chris definitely. has a better time in combat, but right. he's not exactly the best at exploration because of his lower inventory. But right. for the extra hits he can take, he... He knows exactly what he's right. doing. I'm a real police dude with big <laughs> muscles. Final thoughts, Sean? Yeah, it's, uh, very different from later ones, as, uh, because I've only seen yeah, like, bits of like, later ones. You can tell it's much more atmospheric in this one. Yeah, this was, at the time, considered modern Resident Evil. Uh, this is uh, my favourite classic game in the series, easily. Do you know, part of me wishes the remake 2 went with this treatment rather than the R4 treatment, mm -hmm. to be honest. I think they did initially start that, but they like scrapped it. I think the development process for it wasn't exactly smooth, according to Ribbon Langdon. And there's uh -huh. a Jill's Resident Evil 3 outfit, actually. <laughs> to get their alternate costumes, like the Veronica and Resident Evil 3 outfit, beat the game twice with that character on a once again file. I believe on normal difficulty, so you can't do like lower difficulty for that. Alright. Right, so there we are, folks. That's one half of the game done. Yep. Next up will be the Master of Unlocking. Which I'm taking the hell off this time. Yep. Uh, oh, I wonder if you're going to die for our amusement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, no one will knowing me, I'll probably do something by mistake because I'm not as much as, as much of a professional as you are. This, Yeah, I'm really happy with this play for it. Because, like, that was the most efficient run I ever did. And it was on hard mode too, so it's like, yes, double the style. <laughs> so, right. yeah, there we are, folks. That was the Chris scenario. We'll see you guys for the gel scenario. So. I will see you next time in the gel scenario. But there's no. We still didn't find the panda. Shut up, Redfield! <laughs> My panda! <laughs> I told you, we saw it flying out of the explosion. No! <laughs> it's dead. Chris, you did a fine job.